Step number two has to do with the needle. The most important part, or one of the most important parts, but one of the least expensive parts of a sewing project. How often should we change our needle? Every project is what we usually hear. Then there's always some accountants in the, in the world saying, wait a minute, that doesn't mean anything to me. So they want to count hours. How many hours? Eight. About eight is what we hear most of the time. So if you're a counter, eight hours. If you're not a counter, new project, new needle. For 10 years now, I've been traveling around teaching and asking questions. We get to meet a lot of the professionals. These are professional embroiders, professional quilters, professional sewers. And one question that I always ask is, what needle do you use? I was surprised because the majority of the professionals, these are those who either quilt or embroider or sew for a living, or those who are making show entry quality quilts, the real pros, use one needle style most of the time. Yes. They don't use a universal. That's the least favorite out there. They don't use the embroidery. They don't use the quilting needle. They don't use the sharp, which is I think now is called the Microtex. All these other needle styles, they don't use. They use the top stitch. And 10 years ago, hardly anyone had even heard of top stitch, but it's been around forever. So we looked into it. Why is a top stitch so special? There's three features that make a top stitch a really, really nice needle. This, I guarantee, is going to solve 20% of your problems. 50 was on quality of the thread, 20 will solve. It has to do with the features. The point of a top stitch is sharp, but it is not razor sharp. It is not a super, super sharp tip. It's called a light sharp, which means it's sharp, but it's slightly, slightly bald. So as it goes into the fabric, it's not going to cut the fibers. It's going to separate and penetrate. We like that feature. My favorite feature of the top stitch is the eye of the needle. It is elongated, twice as long as other eyes of any other needle style. That's important because as the thread goes through at high speed, there's a lot of room to play. You're not going to stress the thread through the eye of a top stitch needle. The third feature is a groove that runs up the shaft of the top stitch needle. Every needle has that groove. The groove is really intended to hide and protect the thread. Thread lies in the groove. The problem is if you have a medium or a heavy weight thread and a regular needle, so think medium heavyweight thread, regular needle, the thread will not lie in that groove. So now as we sew up and down, guess what's happening? I'm going through the top fabric, through the batting, through the backing, and anywhere the thread's on the outside, the fabric, the batting is gonna rub against the thread. It's like sandpaper. It will weaken, fray, or shred the thread there. The top stitch needle groove is deeper and wider. It will prevent that. The point, the eye, and the groove really make it the magic needle. And they call it the magic needle. It, change the needle, 20% of your problems, absolutely gone guaranteed. There's only four needles in my wife's sewing stash. Top stitch 70, top stitch 80, top stitch 90, top stitch 100. We don't choose the needle based on the fabric type. We choose a needle based on the thread size. The top stitch 70 is also called the number 10, 70 slash 10. We use that for the very finest of threads. Perhaps if we use a monofilament, by the way, about monofilament threads, there's nylon and there's poly. Nylon has lots of negatives behind it. There is poly, ours is poly, our monopoly is a polyester monofilament thread. It's called monopoly because it's monofilament polyester. If we use a monofilament, or perhaps a number 100 silk thread, or a very fine bottom line number 60 polyester thread, we may use the number 70 needle. If we use a, I would say a fine thread, like a 50 weight, like Masterpiece, we go up to the top stitch number 80 slash 12. That's the fine thread for the number 80 needle. The majority of our quilting and embroidery, we use 40 weight threads. That's where we use the top stitch number 90 slash 14. And then for those times where we have a heavier thread, the decorative thread, the 30 weights or heavier, we go up to the number 100 slash 16. That's it, four needles. So guess what? You don't need three sizes of universal, three sizes of metallics, three sizes of 
embroidery, three sizes of quilting, a microtex, which we all have. You don't need 20 packs of needles because the pros don't. Why should we? Four is all you need. Have you heard of titanium needles? Mm -hmm. They don't exist. A titanium needle will cost about 300 bucks. But they do have titanium coated needles. There is a bad rumor floating around out there that don't use titanium coated needles because they're so strong. If they break, they're going to do machine damage. Don't believe it because these titanium coated needles have been around for years and years and years. And it's not a titanium needle. They take the regular needle, which is steel, coated with chrome. That's what we all are used to. And then they either they spray on or they dip it into a very hard substance called titanium nitride. And it coats the needle. You'll notice that a titanium coated needle has a nice long gold shaft. That's just for looks. This is fancy. But where the friction hits down here, that titanium coating, very, very hard substance. You may hear of a ceramic needle. This is a ceramic substance. So ceramic coating called titanium nitride. It coats the needle, so anywhere there's friction, it wears and tears five to eight times longer than the standard needle. Is it worth it to you? The typical home machine needle, pack of five costs $5.99. A pack of five titanium coated needles, $6.99. You're paying 20 cents more per needle, and it lasts eight times longer. To me, that's a no-brainer. Now you get eight needles for only 20 cents more. Therefore, how often do you change your needle on a titanium coating? Okay, if you're a counter, 60 plus hours. If you don't count, now we're looking at eight projects. So here's what's gonna happen. You're not gonna change your needles because you're gonna go weeks or months and you're gonna realize things are going great. When was the last time I changed my needle? I can't even remember you will start to hear, when your needle starts to go dull, a different sound. You start to hear a clunk, clunk, clunk. That's how you will know. Put the stopwatch away, put the counter away. When you hear it, you will hear when the needles start to go dull. And it will last a long, long time. It's the magic needle. Up until about four years ago, they didn't offer titanium coated needles in the top stitch style. Here's a good story. We were in Houston. International Quilt Festival. The largest industrial needle company came to talk to us. And they said, we like what Superior is doing. We would like Superior to be our distributor to the home market for our needles. Well, guess what the largest industrial needle company in the world is? Have you heard of Oregon? O-R-G-A-N, like the church organ? They're number one. We said, no, we're too busy with thread. They were a little shocked. We had no idea how big they were. We were just thread. We don't know needles. A year later, they came back and said, have you reconsidered? We want Superior to be our distributor for our needles in the home market. And I said, we're too busy. Thank you, but no thanks. They said, well, I guess we'll have to find somebody else then. I said, okay, let's talk. We went to Japan. We met with an Oregon needle factory people and said, here's the problem. I looked at their catalog. It was like a phone book. 4,000 needles. Multiple, they probably had, who knows, four or five hundred needle styles, each in five or eight different sizes. A telephone book worth, and I'm flipping through it and said, this isn't for us. Because what the pros tell us is they like the top stitch style. What those who quilt for a living, what those who teach for a living, they tell us they use the top stitch. We don't need even five or eight different styles. And Oregon wants us to sell everything they have, of course, to the home market. And we said, it's not for us. Problem number two is, they said, I said is, why do you make the titanium coated needles for the big boys? Why do all the industrial companies, the long arm people, those who are the, the real full timers, why do you make it for them and not the home market? And they said, we don't think the consumer will pay for it. And I said, ours will. So here's the deal. If you will make your organ needle in the top stitch style, because by the way, they didn't have top stitch style. They had all these styles, but not the top stitch. If you will make an organ needle in top stitch style and put a titanium coating on it, we will sell it. But just don't expect this to be a huge, huge, huge seller of all products because it's the top stitch that we want. They said, we'll do it. So now we have top stitch titanium coated needles in size 70, 80, 90, and 100. And that's all we have, that's all we use, that's all we recommend, with one exception. If you do embroidery and you embroider on a knit fabric, 
use a ballpoint. <coughs> we don't go to the sharp point on knits. Other than that, we use all top stitch needles. We piece with it. We do clothing construction, crafting, quilting, machine binding. All we do, we use the top stitch. Here's proof that if you hear titanium coated needles are dangerous, they'll ruin your machine, it's a myth right here. Every article of clothing we're wearing was made somewhere around the world, probably India, China, Mexico, in a factory that probably has a thousand sewing machines going around the clock. They use titanium coated needles because they last three times longer. A typical needle every eight hours, three times a day, because these, these factories are going around the clock, three times a day, stop, change your needle. Well, now with a titanium coated needle, they can go three days. What a savings it is for 20 cents more. If it were true that a titanium coated needle could do damage to a machine if it breaks, there's not one factory in the world that would take the chance to use them. Because a damaged machine is much worse than taking 20 seconds to change the needle. But these factories do use them, and they have used them for years. They like the titanium coating. It is a long-lasting needle, and it's a great one. That's what we recommend. 20% solved right there.